Hey all, Scott here. Some words of advice. Things will get better later than sooner, don't you worry. When I was little, I used to think, when I'm Scott, I want to be this, and look at me now. What does it take to be this? Skin for one. It takes a lot of work to be me. You have to be tough, you have to have skin, you have to own this. I should hire an assistant. This is Mario Party. I thought it was a bear. Aww. Look at all these. It's almost like there's 24 of them. The Mario Party series, a constant in society. As the death toll goes up, a new Mario Party comes out. It may not be the most prestigious of Nintendo's franchises. You don't see people going, sound the alarms. Guess what just turned 18 years old today? Yeah, Mario Party 4. These aren't the most elegant of games, but they hold a special place in many f***ing idiots' hearts. Sometimes you just don't want to play a game with deep mechanics, fair challenge, a compelling story. Sometimes you just want to say, I hate this. That's where party games come into frame. Often looked down upon by critics as lesser gaming experiences, it's because they are. But come on, think of it in the context of a party. You're really gonna ask somebody if they want to play Life is Strange? No, damn it, you could play Guilty Party or Quarters. Party games may not be these incredible experiences, but they're what video games are supposed to be at the end of the day fun as long as you're playing with others. Playing Mario Party single player is like drinking alone, but it's not seeing party games critiqued on the same level as any other video game considering what they're trying to accomplish is so much different. See, games with deep and compelling narratives with minimal gameplay get rave reviews for doing exactly what they set out to do, but Nickelodeon Party Blast gets a 19 on Metacritic. It's like these games get good reviews because while comparing them to bigger titles they don't hold up as well, they nail what they want it to be, an interactive story. But then party games get sh** on because they aren't as good as The Last of Us. Come on, they're not supposed to be that deep. A multiplayer oriented experience focused on fast paced frenetic fun usually based on playing a collection of bite sized mini games and seeing which player reigns supreme at the end of it all. These video games work best in the setting of, you guessed it, a here. They're just supposed to be dumb fun, why do I never see party games score above a 7 out of 10 on review websites? It's like critics judge them next to games like Red Dead Redemption 2 when these games aren't trying to be that. They're just simple fun to have during a get together. But most party games are terrible, that might be why. It is absolutely shocking how poorly some developers understand the party genre. So many have these unbelievably long loading times, which at a party, nobody wants to wait and talk to each other. They have little variety, they're unoriginal, unbalanced, unfun. Have you played Pac-Man Fever? Probably not, considering you're alive. There is an art to the best party games. There's still depth there. It may seem crazy simple on the surface, but there's great design packed behind these guys. But it seems that it would be fairly understandable what's fun in a party setting and what's not considering almost all party games took inspiration from one genre defining title really the party game to set the standard for all party games to follow anticipation This is not a great way to start talking Mario Party. Mario Party was the party game. Sure, there were examples of the genre before its release in 1998, but there were people before A Pagoda. This really kickstarted the party genre into what it is today. Is that a good or bad thing? Is a stupid question. Here it is, Mario Party on the Nintendo 64. You know, I like this. Good words, fun letters, could really use a number. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh! The Nintendo 64 was a prime suspect to have multiplayer experiences. Just look at all those holes! Four player support right out of the box. Of course, games like Mario Kart 64 and Super Smash Bros. took advantage of that, but Mario Party was aimed towards a slightly more casual crowd, the people who consider using this psychological warfare. The entire game is designed around being a virtual board game, and once everybody rolls the dice, it's time to compete in a mini game. Pretty simple. Everybody's played a board game, so Mario Party feeds into our biological urges. So. A four-player experience anybody can enjoy and understand. Okay, I'll bite. What's the catch? Damnation. Mario Party is infamous for what it does to people, like malaria. Look at these victims. They're being victimized. This commercial showcases how Mario gets arrested for even being associated with this term. Or treason, it's never specified. Mario Party may be easy to understand, but it's bullshit to play. Sure, you know what's going on, but is that really to your benefit? Oh, I know I'm getting f***ed over even though I can't do anything about it. I'm so happy I know I'm getting f***ed over. You may be attracted to this game for the simple concept, but remember, it's not just a board game, it's an adventure. Huh, yeah, f you board games. I always hated this box art. Seeing Mario punch a dice block with the number three here. Th what is this, Mario Party 3? This would be a great time to talk about the development background of Mario Party, but it's Mario Party. It's like asking, why did you decide to make this phone book? 
Nintendo themselves didn't develop the game. No, we get to blame Hudson Soft. They made bloody roar on the PlayStation. They were the best men for the job. The game was released in late 1998 in Japan and early 1999 everywhere else. You ever notice how ever since late 1998 in Japan, the world's gone to sh**? Yes, we get it. Mario Party can be cruel. Doesn't mean I don't like it. I mean, hey, it's my best friend. He's a snitch, he's a killer, but he'll always be my friend. It's just, you're winning, having a great time, and then you get the death sentence for winning too much. Ah, well, this guy has more eyelashes, so we'll give him the eyelash award. For second place, you get the grand prize. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, let's finally take a look at where the Mario Party series took a turn for the worse with Mario Party 1. It's Mario and his good friends. They hang out. Everybody's getting in a heated political debate asking who the superstar of the group is. Mario's like, I'm strong. Donkey Kong's like, I'm also strong. And they start ganging up on Luigi. This is pretty much a high school locker room. Everybody bragging and talking shit on Luigi. Mario thinks he's the superstar. No reason is given. Peach thinks she's the superstar. No reason is given. Yoshi thinks he's a superstar because he has energy, something every being has. I have a neck, you don't see me bragging. So pretty much everybody is trying to be a superstar. Who better to mediate this debate than a tumor? Toad decides to offer for everybody the chance to prove their worth for the low price of jumping down this well. Adventure awaits, I swear. Everybody runs towards adventure. I mean, with all that energy, what else are you gonna do? And with that, the game that put us on the journey to Mario Party 8 begins. Mario Party 1. Let's head to adventure ourselves. This may be a problem. Yeah, being a game that's best played with four whole people means this isn't gonna work. I thought telling the IRS I was four people would help, but no. I need bodies. I could play by myself, but Mario Party's like a marriage. It's more fun with up to four people. And at that point, I might as well make the most of it. Call up some people, get the place all jazzed up. It's called Mario Party for a reason, because the word bullshit was already taken, but I might as well throw a party if I can't think of anything better to do. <laughs> No, let's throw a party. A great party needs to have so many things. Mario Party 1, so you know people don't have too much fun. Doritos and Mountain Dew to have an outlet to discuss the war against arteries. Alcohol, because it's not a good party if you enjoy it sober. So I went to the party store and picked up anything and everything I could find that was party related. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna make sure everything is just, I'm just gonna stay still so I'm gonna do a couple blows. Holy <laughs> shit, this looks depressing. <laughs> Now all that's up to do is invite victims. They can bring alcohol, snacks, people. Okay, so who's gonna show up no matter what? No, no, no. Or I did find this flyer for the Mario Party Assistance Agency, the MPAA. You can call them, pay a small fee, and have bodies show up to play Mario Party with. Which is really something Nintendo should have specified as required. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I called. You called. According to my receipt, I have you for two hours to play Mario Party 1. Oh sh**, we're playing Mario Party? Just like any Mario Party player would. Uh, I've never played Mario Party before. What is that, like a bear? You've never played Mario Party? You're wearing a Wario hat. Oh. I thought the W stood for words. So you work at a Mario Party agency, but you never played it? I've been doing a lot of work for the agency. Haven't really had time to play. Okay, well I need you to sit on the couch, hold the controller, and have fun. <laughs> That'll cost extra. Holy sh**, you have a sitting fee? Technically, yes. Ambiguously, maybe. All right, we'll just have you stand. Want to take that for a test drive? Yeah, let's see what I'm in for. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Long eye contact for too long, you have to wink. That's a rule. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, it says on your sales form you ordered one other person. It's considered ordering people. Pretty sure that's illegal. So you're only pretty sure. Hey, is this the party? I know you said to bring Mountain Dew and Doritos. All I could find was Mellow Yellow and Cheez-Its. Yeah, you can't have a party without powdered sugar in a Ziploc. They didn't have beer at the store, so I just got 20 packs of cigarettes. I don't think anybody's gonna question the uh, the fogging spray, will they? <laughs> <laughs> they only have five packs of cigarettes available. So this is a suitable replacement for alcohol at a party? Yeah, I can't wait to get blackout cancer. Well, I for one am f***ing pissed. Come on, be an anti-narc for once. We have to throw an actual party. No, I'm not gonna go against my beliefs. What, you want me to take out a cigarette, pull it out, do it a couple of <laughs> So how much is your nicotine fee? $10 a year. It's always when it's not here that we really need them. Okay, how does this look on the, uh, on the camera? Mm. But it costs you only. It's okay. Day. That's why it's more in front, too. It kind of just looks like it's behind. That's better, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. You're more up like here, too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be 
bad. Oh, yeah. Oh my it's God. staying around. It's not leaving anymore. <laughs> That's what happened. I've used fog in this apartment before. It, it f***s with window. it. So when we jump into adventure, we're tasked with deciding the unthinkable. Who's not going to play as Donkey Kong? I can't wait. This is going to be like an actual party. All we have to do is pick our soulmate. Well, you know what they say. Let's play Mario Party 1. Yeah, I'm taking Mario. Home field advantage. You're taking Mario. <laughs> I'm taking him home. I'll pick Luigi for the sympathy vote. I'll pick Peach so I don't have to play as Donkey Kong. Why wouldn't you invite a fourth person to play? Well, I couldn't just have somebody play as Donkey Kong, now could I? What consistency do you think Donkey Kong is? Hard. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> First try. First try. First try. First try. Human test. There's a total of eight game boards to choose from here, starting with DK's Jungle Adventure, rated one star. Can't say I'm surprised. Anybody look at this and go, oh, I think he'd make great game boards. No, the stars stand for the difficulty level, which I think is the wrong word to use there. I've never once thought of a game board as just, oh, so hard. I consider the stars to represent the complexity of the boards, which means the one stars are nosebleeds. DK's Jungle Adventure, Mario's Rainbow Castle, these are one star boards and are crazy simple. Like, they basically ask you, hey, wanna play a board game with three spaces on it? All right, which map do you guys wanna play on? Keep in mind, I am 100% gone after that hit. That sounds like you need an intervention and Wario's Battle Canyon. That's not fair, that's whole people advantage. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, and then, uh... That right there, that's home field advantage. <laughs> that's a man who's in control right Please now. Please tell me you're FaceTiming Joseph, but it's on mute. <laughs> <laughs> you're just looking at him. Just, just watching <laughs> each other. <laughs> at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> just hitting vapes back and forth. Uh, how many turns should the game last? Is there an option for two? How about 54? Nope, there's only 20, 35, and 50. You sure there's not a secret menu? I say we go for 20. Don't want to come on too strong here. Of course, Mario Party operates on the number of turns you decide to make a game last, so it's not about getting to the end of a board. You just want to keep moving until time is up, so you kind of need more variety in a board's layout than just circle, circle, maybe a line. The two-star boards are a bit better, but still too small and simple for my liking. Yoshi's Tropical Island, Pizza's Birthday Cake, they're still just really too tiny, and there aren't enough different pathways to take. Uh, playing on all of these boards just sort of feels like you're always running around in a circle. The few times you're able to make a decision on where to go, it's like, thanks. But then we have the three-star boards, Luigi's Engine Room, and the unlockable Bowser's Magma Mountain and Eternal Star. These are usually my favorites, as they actually have some meat on their bones. Different pathways, larger sizes, Bowser's canonically called the King of Magic and Magma Mountain, these are the best. But the boards overall, and they're serviceable, they're fine, they do the job, but look how small this is. I could fit this in my mouth. Each of the playable characters have their own board, but that's just for theming purposes. You don't gain anything for playing as Donkey Kong on DK's Jungle Adventure. You don't get to have lunch with Wario. But I guess it adds to the ambiance. Like, wow, I'm on land owned by a mammal. All the boards have their own special gimmicks, like warp pipes or tolls to pay. Yo, I can pay some coins to access this path. I f***ed up, didn't I? But they aren't prevalent enough to hide the fact that many of these boards are just too simple. They're just tiny loops and they get old pretty fast. But there's one with such a thick gimmick that we can't just not play it. I forgot how it started. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking, what I'm about. talking about. Mario's Battle Canyon is a map full of circles for the geometrically challenged I'm sorry. If you even think about moving past the top portion of each plot of land, you are forced into a cannon where it shoots you to a different plot of land and where you land is completely random. In terms of all the Mario parties I've taken a look up to now, this is number one. This is the whole map, and the cannon gimmick is definitely a cannon gimmick, I'll give them that. All right, we roll to decide the turn order here. He just hears Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Home field advantage. You got third. So the goal here is to first, so the goal here is to, so the goal here is to, <laughs> Welcome to my hell. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine it. You played this before? No, just look at that. It's pretty obvious. I thought this game was a bear. At the end of the day, it's all about rolling dice, collecting coins by landing on blue spaces, losing coins by landing on red spaces, triggering special events, getting all the way to the star space, and praying you have enough coins to relish in the lower middle class. You want to get as many coins as you can, but you then want to trade those in for stars when possible. So you want to get a ton of both. You need coins to pay for stars, toll boost the government, but stars are the true end goal here. All right, so if one of us gets 20 coins and passes that star space, we can have a star. I always wanted a game I could do that in. Donkey Kong's up first. You rolled a two. What a f***ing idiot. Luigi start. Luigi's tart what? Here comes Luigi with a four. What a f***ing er idiot. 
Wario, you're up. Okay, I've been working on a speedrun of this game. You just found out it existed. I work fast. What a f***ing me! But every now and then, you'll come across the Bowser space, a virtual definition of oh f***. Bowser almost always means bad news, whether he's instilling a Bowser revolution, gutting everybody of their coins and standardizing them across the board, or Bowser's chance time. And chance time is already a societal problem. Anything goes here. If you land on a space that triggers chance time, get ready to clinch. It's completely up in the air who wins, who fails, who gets what, how much they get. It's just like real life. It's totally random. When somebody dies, I just say, well, somebody lost at chance time. And then there's all the other things on the board. You can steal garbage from others, activate small changes to the map. This game is all about making everybody miss in the best way possible. But of course, once everybody's done rolling their dice, it's time for a mini game to commence. I'm ready. End of the turn, which brings us to our first mini game. Oh, I think I've heard of this one. You've never heard of Mario Party 1, but you've heard of the hammer drop mini game in Mario Party 1? Oh, it's a big deal where I'm from. Where are you from? Wario's Battle Canyon. Take the f no! <laughs> I think we need a, one more take of that here. Yeah. So Hammer Drop is all about avoiding hammers and collecting coins. Wish we would've said that sooner. Donkey Kong wins, as is tradition. This was the first mini game. And every mini game he's played, he's conquered. Well, it looks like you're gonna be able to break that tradition here. You landed on a one player mini game space. You get to play Memory Match. Oh, f I picked a bad day to get dementia. You gotta be kidding me. I swear it's the controller. Okay, I guess we have to see everybody's results for that one player minigame. What the hell? I got no coins? It makes it feel any better. My doctor told me I have nine days to live. There are a total of 56 minigames in Mario Party 1 because 57 would have been too much. At first glance, wow, 56 games in one? Call up the rest of my life and tell them I'm canceling our plans. These 56 include four player free for alls, one versus threes, two versus twos, and the elusive single player minigames. The four player games are easily the best. Everybody's out to get each other. It's natural. One versus threes? They're not bad balanced well at all. Pretty much with everyone, either the one or the three have everything in their favor. Two versus two, what's the point of these? There are only five two versus two games and all of these could have easily been reworked into free-for-alls. And the single player ROMs, these you play if you land on the event spaces on the board and they are completely worthless. They barely affect anything and feel like a minute long waste of time. And why are there 10 of them? That's nearly 20% of all mini games in the package. They're just boring considering you're playing a multiplayer game by yourself and everybody has to stop and watch you Flounder. Oh, oh, oh my god, I got to the star space with over 20 coins! You know what that means? Yeah. Yeah. you two! I got a f***ing star, you f***ing f***s! This may be the nicotine talking, but congratulations! Yeah, you really earned this one. F***ing that f***ing right, I f***ing deserved it, f*** you you anti f me! The four player ones are your best bet here, though overall with the single player games being worthless, the one versus threes being unbalanced, and the two versus twos just not really understanding the point of that whole existence thing. If we get down to just the free-for-alls, there are only 24 of these, so less than half of all the minigames. And keep in mind, not all of those 24 are winners. I still can't play Balloon Burst for the life of me. I have to alternate between the A and Z buttons to pump, and I'm just terrible at this. The button mashing ones, also not my strongest suit, but I swear I have a great personality. The next minigame is Bumper Balls? That's one of my favorites! Again, still, you haven't played Mario Party 1 before, but you know about Bumper Balls? Word gets around. There. Donkey Kong, you cheap bitch! <laughs> I just hear the, the <laughs> inhale. But I mean, there are some stellar ones here. Bumper balls, facelift, mushroom mix-up. Overall, there are good mini games and bad mini games, but you kind of need some garbage thrown in there. Mario Party thrives when everybody can collectively go, f this. You need some lame ones in here to groan over. I just feel like overall, 
the selection here is a bit lacking. You'll see repeated minigames just playing one 20 turn round, and the fact that over half of the minigames are sort of worthless doesn't make things that much better. But what does make things that much better, my purple heart. So a couple minigames here, you have to rotate the analog stick rapidly. The easiest way to do that is by using your palm, if your palm was made of tar. You know, you could chalk this little problem up to kids just not knowing how to treat their bodies, and more importantly, their palms with respect. But looking at this Japanese commercial from Mario Party 1, Look at them! This is the official way to control these minigames! Many people complained and Nintendo even got threatened with a lawsuit, which is why they quickly put out a sequel with little to no hand altercations included and offered gloves to people who complained. That makes the hospital stay worth it. This goes to saying they can steal coins from me for free! Well, are you gonna do it? I have a pact to never steal unless stealing is free. These coins! I don't want to piss off Donkey Kong, you've seen what he's capable of. Yeah, winning. Alright, here, I landed next to a fly guy. He looks disgusting. I can't do anything he's offering me, I can't afford it. No, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Not yet, not yet, not yet, damn it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm excited. Oh yeah, minigame time! One versus three, baby. Peach, get ready for me to save. F you. Grand game, I have to pick something up here. That was a waste of thumb energy. You know, that made me so happy. I might just go past the star space and not have enough coins to buy one. Whoa. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> if you want to be midi louder, you know, oh, don't, don't encourage that. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Another four player minigame, Box Mountain Mayhem. We just pick up boxes and randomly get coins from inside. Now, this is a minigame. Bite sized entertainment, really not that fun. This is what I'm talking about. You know, it'd be really funny if Donkey Kong won this minigame and landed on a star space and got a star. Less so funny, more so fing hysterical. Well, at least on the space I landed on, I get a 10 coin bonus. Because. You, you deserve it. Next minigame is facelift. We have to morph the face to match the picture in the middle. All right, everybody. Hey, hey, guys, 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 you, hey, yeah, you right there. Shut the fuck up. Let me concentrate. Let me see here. Close enough. I'm pretty happy with the stock face. There, there. Perfect. How the, how the fuck? That's not even somewhat close. How does this ape keep winning? He's playing against us. You know what? You know what? I've, ha I've had it. I've had it. I'm buying a one-way ticket to take me to Bowser. No, not from the fly guy. He looks disgusting. Looks like we've got a new one. Tipsy Turney. A staple of me playing Mario Party. You've never played Mario Party. I played it once, and Tipsy Turney has been a part of the experience ever since now. Finish! <laughs> and the f man reigns supreme! <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to meet Bowser. I paid 10 coins to do it, so that means something good must come out of it. He was so squishy, Bowser. All of them. All of them. You can't wait for all more. Of all of them. 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 All, all, all of them. them, them. Yeah, oh, like oh, oh, oh. Tightrope treachery. It's all of us against Donkey Kong. How do you win here? Piranha's pursuit. Us all against Wario. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? That was, the, old that was the exact like, <laughs> mock voice I was doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I hate, I, to be, I hate to be a birdie. Oh, oh, oh god, what's the ape doing? Ape sh**. The worst kind of sh**. Looks like Bowser's forcing him to do chance time. All he has to do is hit two blocks to decide the fate of whoever's on the board. Huh. So it's like the draft. Even scarier. I have to give 30 coins to Bowser, but I'd rather have them! You know, sometimes life throws you a curveball. You just gotta learn to live with it. You'll get back on your feet in no time. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Maybe it'll make you feel better knowing I have half your coins now. Okay, guys, one versus three minigame. We're up against the eight. He's bowling, we're the pins. You guys stay put, I'll jump around as a distraction.
So is that your plan or just one of those stupid f***ing ideas you always seem to have? Alright, listen, here's the next one, Crazy Cutter. We're all on our own here, we just gotta focus. No, I refuse! Why would I trust you? You lost a bowl over! My father died playing bowl over! Oh, my cousin loves bowl over. I think I know what I'm talking about. Oh, big bowl over guy here. Well, Dr. Bowl over, what is this? It's bowl over. No, it's Crazy Cutter, you idiot! And we're all losing! Especially me! Especially him! Donkey Kong won! Oh, did you hear that? He's literally right next to me. I wonder how Donkey Kong's gonna celebrate his recent wins. Oh, you can still coin over a star. Oh, he's still in a star. Oh, I'm the only one with a star. Oh, I'd feel bad if I didn't fucking hate all of you. Ooh, castaways. We gotta flick the stick to cast it out and reel it back in by rotating it. Oh, I'm great at using my thumbs. In fact, I've been using it this entire time. We gotta keep an eye on him. Why is this so slow? I, I'm barely getting anything. Feeling back takes forever. You know, I may have great thumbs, but I was blessed with the best palms. I won. I should do that. Oh, oh, oh God, what is he doing? Chance time? I don't want to go to war. I don't even have the full uniform. Is because God forbid me be happy. Five turns left, guys, and the game is predicting Donkey Kong will win. No fucking way. Oh, looks like I can steal coins. And even though ceiling's free, I'm happy with my 23. I thought you were happy with your 23. Okay, we're up to the treasure divers game. Oh, cool. W Wario, fuck off. You know what? We've been pretty hard on Wario lately. Hey, you know Wario, you can have this one. Me and Luigi would just sit back and just go in and rake in all the coins. Oh. Yeah, dude! I'm going for the dub, bitches! I thought you were going for the dub, bitches. The dub stands for Wario, bitches! Oh, look, where you got a 20 coin bonus? He's plotting. You know, just to prove I'm not plotting, I'm at the coin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the coin. I'm at the coin. I love the coin spot. <laughs> I'm at the coin. I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, 20 stars for one coin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the coin. Oh, look at Donkey Kong. Swapping places with Luigi so Luigi can get a star. Look at Donkey Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Yeah. Donkey Kong. I have enough coins. I can steal a star right now. Just to scare Donkey Kong, I'm gonna take from Luigi to prove he's not a threat to me. Oh, great Bowser, he's giving me 20 coins out of pity. Man, I, I'd love that. That'd be like treating me like it's my birthday. When is your birthday? January 26th, 1997. Nine months after Arbor Day? That's a weird coincidence. Oh, it... It's no coincidence. Alright, last minigame. Bash and crash, f I just got 20 coins, there's nothing left for me here! I have nine days left to live. Alright, here we have the final results. Who gets the bonus stars? Donkey Kong... Donkey Kong, Luigi, and Wario. And with nine days remaining... <laughs> now, if you're lonely and love Mario Party, I am so sorry. But there's still stuff to do. You can unlock the mini games to play whenever you'd like, purchase random tchotchkes, play through mini games in slightly different ways, like the mini game Stadium, which is basically a standard board game, but without stars and mostly just revolving around the mini games. And then mini game Island, which is your single player adventure. Please play through all the mini games and then fight off against Toad in the slot card derby game at the end, please. Well, I think that'll do it for now. Donkey Kong may have won, but so did Smallpox. For a while there. Yeah, I should probably check my contract with the agency, make sure playing Mario Party 1's allowed. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever played Mario Party with a client. Usually they just want to hang out and enjoy life. Well, at least I'm happy that I finally got to throw a party for the first time, get lung cancer, and never use my hand again, all with professional Mario Party players. I think I'm an escort. I want, I want my entire, like, fucking arm to be nothing but a cast. God damn it. And that is Mario Party 1. If you couldn't already tell, it's a bit rough. With limited minigames, lackluster boards, only six playable characters, palm eviscerating controls, random events throwing skill completely out of the window, 
Why is this one of my favorite party games of all time? See, Mario Party 1 is so cheap, so infuriating, so relentlessly bullshit that it makes it unbelievably fun. I love how dumb and random the game can be when it just decides to fuck over one specific player. I love the fact that there's actual things on the line while playing this game. Your palms. It is far from perfect. It's the epitome of the 7 out of 10 party game, but it is so ruthless and unfair, but still has enough skill required where it does feel like a true competition. You do earn many of the coins you're given. You do earn many of the stars you collect, which makes it that much more brutal when they decide to take them away just because you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I think that gives its game its own twisted identity. Chance time occurring instills fear in everybody. It's disturbing and it wouldn't be that way if the rest of the game wasn't as engaging as it is. Mario Party 1 deserves more credit, not because it's an amazing video game, but because it's a fantastic party game that is total bullshit. Sometimes it's fun to fuck your friends over or get fucked over yourself. You have to laugh at that stuff sometimes, and if you can't do that, well, you probably need to look for new friends. Also because you really won't have any after playing.